Acne 6.0 Prerequisite Skills for the Quadratics Relations Unit. Okay, so example one, first what we're going to do is substitute the given x value to find the value of each expression. Okay, a 3x squared plus 2. Okay, and we're going to substitute x equals negative 1. So I always make it a habit of putting brackets around this negative 1 when we sub it in because then we won't forget to actually square negative 1. Okay, uh, remember negative 1 in brackets squared is not the same thing as saying negative 1 squared. Okay, so negative 1 in brackets squared will turn into a positive. So then we'd have 3 positive 1 times uh, plus 2. So this is just 3 plus 2, which is 5. Okay, and now x equals negative 2. I'm going to go ahead and substitute that negative 2 into the brackets, exactly where the x's are. Okay, so this is negative 2 times negative 2 squared is 4. Okay, negative 0.5 times negative 2 is plus 1, and then bring that down, plus 1. So we get negative 8 plus 2, which is negative 6. For the relation y equals 3x plus 2, make a table of values for x equals negative 3 to x equals 3, then graph the relation. Okay, so we're going to take these x values, we're going to put them in the x column, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Then we're going to take every single x value here and sub it into where the x actually is. So we're going to have 3 times negative 3 plus 2. Okay, so that's negative 9, negative 8, negative 7. Then we're going to have 3 times negative 2 plus 2. So we're going to have negative 6, negative 5, negative 4. Then we're going to have 3 plus negative 1. And every time we go through this uh, equation, we're going to substitute this x value in. Okay, we get negative 1. So going down, we're going to get 2, 5, 8, and 11. Okay, the first difference is it's always going to be one less than the previous. Okay, so 11 minus 8, we get 3. When we go up this y column and we subtract the y's. Okay, 8 minus 5 is 3, 5 minus 2 is 3, 3, 3, and 3. Okay, so as we can see, uh, the first differences are constant, and therefore it is linear. Okay, also if we take a look, because the axes go up by ones, this constant number here, just the three, that's directly our slope, which makes sense because this is linear, so our slope is three. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph negative three, negative seven, negative two, negative four, negative one, negative one, zero, two. 1, 5, 2, 8. And we'll stop there because the 11 is off the graph, which is fine. We have enough numbers to plot. Okay, and those all connect with my nice ruler. And then label the line. Remember the arrows at the end of each part of the line. Okay, example three, we're going to state the x and y intercepts for these three relations. So let's just call this equation one, equation two, and equation three. Okay, or line one, line two, and line three. I'll break this down. Okay, line one is a horizontal line. Okay, it goes through y equals six. Okay, no x-intercepts. Equation 2, the x-intercept would be a negative 5, and the y-intercept is going to be negative 3.5. Okay, and then equation 3, I'll just write x-intercept and y-intercept. Okay, the, uh, the y-intercept comes first. Remember, we always read graphs from left to right. Okay, so we'll go left to right and we get the y-intercept of negative 3 first and then we reach the x-intercept of 15. So just a recap of 
subbing in numbers, first differences, graphing, and then x and y intercepts and what they look like.